Hello, Jesse Good here. Today we're taking a look at the LEGO 4 Junior Spider-Man 2 Doc Ock's Crime Spree set, which released back in the day for $15 in the United States with 57 pieces and three max figures, I guess you could call them. But this is unopened, so let's open it up and out pours all the pieces, which not too much. And of course, instructions and this ramp. So here's the set all built up. Now let's take a look at those strange figures. So here is Spider-Man. This is actually the same as the Cafe Attack Bigger Ford Jr.'s Lego Spider-Man set. If you don't know how these Max figures work, they basically have the same function as a Lego minifigure. You just can't remove any of the pieces, so you can't remove the legs or the head, uh, but you can still sit them down, attach it to studs on the legs. You can move the head 360 degrees. You can move the arms up and down. You can rotate these hands. Yeah, it's just a Lego minifigure, just much taller and looks a little bit different and more accurate in its shaping to a human. But yeah, that's Max figures. Next is Doc Ock, also the same as the Cafe Attack set, where he has the same front printing and also these long tentacles, which attach to the back because this is like a modified Max figure where it has a Technic pin sticking out from the back torso and it's just all exploded. But if you want to get a look at that, you can see how that Technic pin works. And then these little tentacle parts just slide into there and fit all in place. But they are just very cumbersome, I feel like. I wish they were, I don't know, a little bit more poseable, I guess, would be a way to put it. So, yeah, but that's it for Dr. Octopus. And last but certainly not least is the only exclusive figure of the set, this policeman. This is like the OG Far From Home Fireman where he's just kind of thrown in here. He is an exclusive figure because he has uh, that peach skin underneath. And, but in general, he uses this molding found in other Ford Junior sets where they're wearing this helmet, which you can't remove the helmet. It's just all one piece because this is a Max figure. So you can't remove any of these pieces. And he has a walkie talkie as an accessory. So anyways, back to the build. Let's first take a look at the helicopter. So for Spider-Man's helicopter, the design of this has an exclusive front windshield, which has this very elaborate Spider-Man print that just connects to this hinge part up top so you could easily open it up and add or remove Spider-Man. There's a printed uh, roof brick right here, which has a pretty common print from the 90s. Wasn't used too much in 2000s though. You can put Spider-Man back in there. Interesting frame piece here, which even has a loose little pin at this edge. They didn't even put like a little propeller or anything. So that looks kind of awkward. Also, this piece right here is interesting where it has two Technic pins. I guess it's really stuck inside there, but it's just an addition that goes into the Technic pin holes. Stuff I haven't seen before. It's probably prevalent in the Ford Juniors line. Another interesting part, this big propeller up top, which is just one piece and it's a, another element I have not seen before. And that's fun to spin around. And finally, at the end right here, there is this web if you want to make Spider-Man kind of, uh, I guess, hold on to the chopper via the web. But yeah, this is a very strange vehicle for Spider-Man. I don't remember him using a helicopter or chopper in the movies, but of course, it's just something that Lego made for the young kids to play around with because kids love vehicles. And this set is loaded with vehicles. The next being Doc Ock's motorcycle has a very strange yellow design to it, which I don't mind, but I didn't really associate that with Dr. Octopus. That part at the front is an interesting piece I haven't seen before that just connects via a little Technic axle there to the front of this Ford Junior's frame. Another piece I haven't seen before. There's just a lot of pieces that I guess were specific to Jack Stone and the Ford Junior's line. Also an exclusive print for this piece right here. That's actually pretty nice and probably useful to this day on that sand green brick. So that's a nice inclusion that never appeared in any other sets. But yeah, Doc Ock looks kind of ridiculous on here with his little tentacles just getting in the way of things. But it's pretty hilarious. And of course, this is a set for little kids, so it's not a big deal. And finally, there's the builds related to the policeman, which include a police motorcycle that uses the same frame as the Doc Ock cycle and the same front piece, except in a different color. Also an exclusive sloped piece right here with the police little radar and gauges, whatnot. And at the back, there's a one by two tile, which says police on it. That's actually used heavily in the Lego town line from the nineties. 
and there's even a place to hold the walkie-talkie. There's a barricade which says police on it. Very interesting because they reuse a 1x6 that was used in like one other set in the 90s, and this is in 2004, so that was just interesting that they brought that print back up. Then there's this little uh, fenced-off area, nothing too special here. And finally, the ramp, which is one of these non-Lego-esque pieces. It's just really this uh, plastic material that can be bent and almost like a little, uh, I guess, lid to something. And you could use that to make this motorcycle jump. And that's kind of fun to play around with. But at the end of the day, you can't really push it up. So you're going to have to just keep your hands on the cycle at all times. And it's increasingly annoying because the motorcycles don't have kickstands in this set, like some newer Lego motorcycles. But that's it for the builds. Let's take a look at the packaging and then final verdict. Well, we already took a look at the box at the beginning of the video. I wanted to point out something. At the bottom, there's a sticker for Mastermind Toys. That's a Canadian toy company. So this was brought in Canada. You can see it's even more expensive than the US MSRP at 20 bucks instead of 15. For the instructions of the set, they are very short, but at the end, we do have an ad featuring the other Spider-Man 2 sets. Now, of course, we reviewed this set, which had the same ad, but it's still super nostalgic to see this at the back. We want that train set, please give it to me. And also, there's an alternate build at the back, which is pretty hilarious. It seems like the policemen and Spider-Man are teaming up here. So overall, Doc Ock's crime spree may even be weirder than the Cafe Attack set, but this is something aimed towards young kids. So it's akin to the LEGO Junior sets of today. Of course, the ones in this line are a lot simpler than the ones today with these very ridiculous specific pieces. Something that's still found in the line today, but these are more fit for these Max figures, which are very odd. Now, the only exclusive parts are some of the prints and that policeman, so that's kind of interesting. Some of those can even be used today, so that's nice. But it's always interesting to look at some forgotten LEGO themes or even LEGO types because Ford Juniors was a whole range of itself. So that's all I have to say about this one, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.